Hi Taurus, today is Wednesday, October 5th, 2022, and it is 4.30 a.m. exactly here in Texas as I'm doing your reading. Um, but whenever you're watching and viewing this video is when you're meant to receive these messages. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Let's see what your tarot cards are, Taurus. Okay, one more shuffle. Let's cleanse the energy here and call on our spirits and angels. Okay. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? What is in the current energy for Taurus? This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest, Taurus. We have Death, Scorpio Energy. It's your very first card. We have the Sun, Leo Energy, and Judgment. I'm seeing you walking from a painful place, Taurus, into the Sun, into healing, and making a judgment call here. Your first row of cards is very significant. We have the Two of Swords. There might be something here that um, you're not wanting to see. You're blindfolded. We have the Hierophant here. This is your energy, Taurus. You're sitting in the center of your own reading. You have this blindfold on yourself. But I'm going to take it off. Okay, your next card is the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Eight of Cups. The Ace of Cups. And we have the Emperor. And on the bottom of the deck here, we're ending with the Seven of Cups. This is confusion, cloudiness, because of this mask. Why is death here, spirits? You're, you're walking into the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. We have the Page of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Wands. The Three of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. There's someone here that has put this pain with three swords in the heart um, here into your energy in the current moment. Because there's arguments here, there's conflict with the Five of Wands. But this is changing. These fives represent change. You have two fives here. And I'm seeing someone here that you could just feel defeated by, and so you're walking away. There's someone here that um, is holding all of the swords in their hands here and watching the people walk away that I feel like are important to this person they're just watching them walk away and they're showing up here as a page so this is a very immature person that um is selfish they don't care who they hurt they just want what they want this could be a lustful energy um, but it's someone here who's very, very immature. And they're just in a selfish energy. Why is the sun here? 
This person may be younger than you. They don't have to be. Um, and then I have the Three of Swords sitting next to the Knight of Wands. So what's being illuminated here is there could be someone here that has put you into a third party situation. And I'm picking up very, very heavy player energy here. Why is the King of Wands here? And they're very resistant to hear truth. Um, they're feeling very defensive like this, very guarded. And they're not wanting to listen to anything. And so I feel like you're being put in a position here to make a life-changing decision with judgment showing up. Why is judgment here? The Three of Pentacles. Because I feel like you want stability. You want a stable foundation here with the Three of Pentacles. And I'm not sure what this third energy this person has put in, to, put in here that is causing this heartbreak and this pain. But there's a third energy. But you want this stable foundation, Taurus. With the Three of Pentacles here. I, someone could be getting a new job here. There's good news showing up, coming into your energy here. And so I'm seeing you here standing at a crossroads, making a plan. And then we have the Two of Swords. But there's something here that you're closing yourself off to that you don't want to see. And so you're not making a decision. Why is the Two of Swords here? The Six of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. I've got strong ghosting energy here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Taurus, don't mean to do that. On this card, I'm seeing an X showing up here in your energy. Um, this is a soul connection. I feel like this person did show you a lot of kindness in the past. And um, I feel like they focused a lot on you. But now they are all of a sudden becoming closed, closed off. There's ghosting here, five of pentacles, which is causing a lot of confusion to you. But I feel like there's something here that's very obvious. But you're not looking at it. You're not taking the blindfold off. The reason they're ghosting, the reason they're closed off is is very clear it's right there in front of you why is the hierophant here we have the page of pentacles i'm seeing someone here is going to be getting a new job that moves you up higher on this wheel of fortune it's a higher position there's a message that's going to be coming in. This Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, Taurus. But I'm also seeing someone here that um, could possibly be coming back around again. Now we have the Two of Cups. Why is this Two of Cups here, Spirits? The Knight of Wands, yeah. This is someone that could come in and out of your life, Taurus. And do you know this person um, as being someone here who's not real stable, who's kind of all over the place? I think I've seen this person show up in your reading before. Why is the King of Cups here? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo...
there's someone here that that wants to come and work on things with you but they're staying in control of their emotions here and resisting themselves resisting you know approaching you because they do want to work on this they want to make things right they want you to recognize them but um their their energy here is them restraining themselves with strength keeping control of this lion inside of them that wants to come out and then we have the eight of cups I want to find out why they're doing this. I'm seeing someone here in their ego. Why is the strength card here? The fool. Queen of Swords. This person's trying to make a head over heart decision. This may be a Capricorn that you're dealing with here. But I'm seeing here there were words spoken between the two of you. And you're both looking at things from a logical point of view and not coming from the heart and i feel like this person has um this determination in their head to be strong and to start a new journey why is but it's showing up i feel like this person could be being foolish why is the fool here We have the chariot. They're controlling. It's someone who who hasn't completely pulled away from you yet, but their energy is going in two different directions. These sphinxes are not lined up. There's the black, the white, the dark side, the shadow, and the light. So they have two different directions they can go in here, but they're the ones who are being controlling, and it has something to do with ego. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Ten of Swords. See, I'm seeing you here walking away, Taurus, for the time being. There's still cups standing here, but there's a painful ending with the Ten of Swords and a betrayal. Someone could have gaslighted you. Why is this Ten of Swords here? There's a sense of um, feeling stuck, imprisonment. When it comes to, to giving to two people here. They're wanting to break free of it. But, they, but there's breadcrumbing and gaslighting here. And this person feels like they have committed themselves into something, um, into a third party energy here that they're giving to. And so they're feeling some type of a commitment here to save face. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands and the Hangman. Spirit is telling you here um, to drop, to look at the bigger picture of what this person's doing to you. Um, in the Hangman energy, stop, take a break, take a moment for yourself because you're carrying Ten Wands on your back here. And when you release this energy, when I whenever you decide to drop these 10 wands, these burdens that are not yours, there's a hand, there's blessings that will be offered to you that are going to be far better than um, this Knight of Wands, this Ace of Cups coming into your life. There's no comparison between this Knight of Wands and this Ace of Cups. So look at the bigger picture and drop these burdens that you're carrying around because look at look at what is here for you once you do this the ten of cups and the ace of cups so there's something here that is meant for you that is in your energy um, as soon as you drop these burdens why is the ten of cups and the ace of cups here the moon 
It's something that you don't see yet. Seven of Cups. It seems very cloudy here. The Moon and the Seven of Cups and the Four of Wands. It's um, The Four of Wands is a great celebration. It's something huge. It's not something small. This could be a new home, um, but some type of huge celebration. A marriage. Let me see what's going on here because I I feel like there's a secret here surrounded by a lot of confusion. Why is the emperor here? Yeah. Yeah, it's what I thought. Um The power here is going to be within you with the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone single, someone independent, someone confident, someone strong. And this is the direction that you're being told to go into, Taurus. Because I'm seeing once you drop the burden of someone here that is lying, cheating, stealing, someone sneaky, they're someone controlling... Um, there could be a divorce here or a legal matter with justice, Libra energy, and the King of Swords showing up here. Um, this burden will be dropped for you and justice will be served. The truth will be, the truth will come to light here. And I see after all of this is done, you will be celebrating It's like there's a victory of releasing this energy. This is a soul contract and the contract is up. Privileged lady. So I'm seeing that you could be receiving unexpected money here. Like uh, there could be a legal matter going in your favor. We have marriage. So this situation could very well involve marriage or a committed relationship. And we have Thief. Seven of Swords. I'm seeing a thief here and imprisonment. So someone may literally be in jail here. But justice will be served. This is a thief, lying, cheating, stealing energy and justice will be served things will be made right the control that this person has i feel like it's going to be cut off what does taurus need to know all right we have adjustments are required so things are changing here so you may need to make some adjustments Taurus because you're holding your world in your hand now this is all on up to you what you want to put into your world so make those adjustments that you need to make I'm seeing good news coming towards you as you're in this position and it's showing up as a knight of pentacles so this could be a new job or something to do with your money here. What does Taurus need to know? You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. You're safe. You're protected. And what do you need to release? It's time to release these burdens that you're carrying that do not belong to you. And then we have a win-win outcome as forecast, full moon in Libra. Remember this energy right here is very significant, Taurus, because there's something here that you're not seeing that is a blessing in disguise. There's someone else's burden that you're carrying around. These are burdens that you picked up over time, one at a time. 
and there's so many of them you can't even see where you're walking here they're all covering your face it's this has reached a 10 and once it reaches a 10 you drop it you can't carry it you can't pick up an 11th wand and carry it um, there is some determination to hold on to these though but spirit is telling you to look at the bigger picture take a time out meditate contemplate um, look at the bigger picture what you're not seeing what isn't clear here with the moon is this is a blessing in disguise the ace of cups is here this is your true happiness and I feel like it has to do with what you need to release definitely all right Taurus so these are the messages that spirits have for you I hope they help you to see the bigger picture Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing and all of your support. And I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.